Thank you, Vivian. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? I am Bruce Gould, and I'm a proud member of the World Chairman's Council and King Solomon Society. It is an honor to have the opportunity to step up and lead the Jewish National Funds campaign. JNF USA is a huge success story. And I want to briefly share with you our record of growth and achievement. Since launching our $1 billion roadmap for the next, next decade, four years ago, we have had the opportunity to raise four, from 400,000 donors more than 60, $461 million. Those dollars are the engine that allows us to accomplish our transformative work in Israel. Work we've been doing for over 116 years. Fundraising is the lifeblood of any nonprofit organization, and so it is at the Jewish National Fund. I hope you feel as proud as I do the growth of our campaign. Please indulge me for just a couple of minutes as I share with you some of our momentum. The slides behind me shows the total number of donors giving at various levels of our fundraising campaign. More people are giving more to Jewish National Fund. They're giving because they believe in our vision to build the northern and southern regions of Israel and the future of the land and its people. Among the, among the significant growth in the last five years, 41% increase in the number of donors giving $1,000. 38% growth in the number of people giving at the $5,000 level. And 39% of increase in the number of people giving more than $10,000. And a staggering 112% increase in the number of people giving at the $100,000 level to Jewish National Fund. I want to give a special acknowledgement to our Women for Israel campaign and the tremendous growth of our women's campaign. In 2013, women contributed a little more than $11 million to our annual campaign. In just four, four short years, that number has ballooned to $20 million, an incredible 82% increase. An area of our campaign that is really special to my heart is our planned giving program. That is why I made a contribution to endow the Gould Legacy Society. Every one of us who loves Israel and who supports the work of the Jewish National Fund must consider how we can ensure that our philanthropic legacy will continue even after we're gone. The easiest way is to make a provision in your estate or percentage or lump sum gift to Jewish National Fund. However, I encourage you to look at the wide range of services our plan giving department has to offer. They can structure any number of tax smart plans that work for you. If you have made a provision in your estate to Jewish National Fund and you don't have a Gould Legacy Society ribbon on your name tag, please reach out to one of our professionals and they will get you a ribbon to display proudly. When somebody asks you what that ribbon is, say you left your mark on Jewish National Fund. Yes, Jewish National Fund's annual fundraising builds Israel, but there's an upside, another upside to it how it makes you feel inside. There is nothing like the sense of belonging that washes over you when you attend a JNF breakfast or tree of life dinner. Or how about here at the national conference, am I right? In 2017, 28,000 people attended Jewish National Fund events across the United States, and another 1,200 participated on JNF missions and tours to Israel. 
JNF USA is building a family of supporters and leaders so that Israel's future will be secure. We're all about giving and we're all about doing. As Israel's 70th anniversary approaches, we can, we should, and we will celebrate all that we have done to build a strong Israel. But let us understand, there's much more work to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, when the cost of housing in Tel Aviv is more expensive than it is in Manhattan, and it is, Jewish National Fund's vision to develop the North and South, which represents roughly 65% of Israel's landmass, is imperative. We must raise an additional $600 million over the next six years to continue our great mission. Our fundraising goal of $1 billion over 10 years is a big number. Yes, it's a big number, and it sounds impressive. But rather, we must raise $1 billion to accomplish, it, accomplish our vision to build the Negev and the Galilee so all of Israel's residents can enjoy the best quality of life. My election as vice president of campaign and president-elect affirms the commitment of Jewish National Fund to develop young leadership. Yes, I'm a little gray around the temples and definitely a lot less hair than I used to have. But believe it or not, my involvement in JNF began over 20 years ago as a member of National Future Leadership, or as we called it back then, the NFL. The precursor to today's JNF future. I still remember my first trip to Israel, there I am, <laughs> on a young leadership mission. I saw the whole of Israel, the complexity and the beautiful mosaic that makes up the land and the people of Israel. It was such a life-changing experience. I decided then that I wanted to be a partner and participate in writing the future of Israel. Jewish National Fund has afforded me that opportunity to do so. And I hope you will join the opportunity and do so as well. If you've never been on a JNF mission, you must. You will see Israel through a different lens. I invite you to join us on our upcoming April mission for our 70th anniversary of Israel. It will be an experience of a lifetime. My leadership in our annual campaign follows the very successful tenure of my good friend Ken Siegel of Albany, New York and Aventura, Florida. Ken, a successful real estate developer, chaired our campaign for the last two years and in so doing traveled across the country continuously telling the Jewish National Fund story and soliciting major gifts like you never heard. Ken, thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your friendship. And most importantly, thank you for your committed leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Ken a big round of applause and give him the recognition he deserves. JNF's investment in young leadership development is paying dividends. And in fact, the fastest growing demographic to our donor base are people under the age of 40. Our JNF Future Group is 1,000 members strong and rapidly growing. These young professionals collectively donated $1.3 million to our campaign in 2017. <laughs> Among them are 30 at the major donor level, 30. But one person in particular that I want to recognize is Sam Goldberg from Los Angeles. <laughs> Sam was the first JNF Future member 
to make a one million dollar gift to join our World Chairman's Society Council. Thank you, Sam. These young people are our future. They will be leading boards and committees. They will be driving our campaign to even greater heights. They are the answer to the critics who question the love and commitment to Israel of millennials and Gen Xs. If you're under the age of 40, stand. Stand right now. Come on. Look. Look at the future of JNF. JNF USA is in great hands. <laughs> Friends, for nearly 50 years before the creation of the modern state of Israel, our parents and our grandparents put coins in a little blue box to support the efforts of the Jewish National Fund. Those coins represented the dreams and hopes that we could build a better life for Jewish people, that we could control our own destiny. Over the years, our donations enabled Israel to grow, even during the most trying times. Today, as we prepare to celebrate Israel's 70th anniversary, our support of Jewish National Fund's annual campaign is one of partnership with a strong Israel. Our support of Israel today will ensure a better tomorrow. Thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your support of the Jewish National Fund. And most importantly, thank you for your love of Israel.